Development for the next Mercedes AMG GT is well underway, and we've spotted the V8-powered GT63 testing, alongside an entry-level version, which could adopt a straight-six hybrid motor. Following the debut of its even sportier SL Roadster, Mercedes AMG is gearing up to launch a more hardcore second generation the AMG GT. The Porsche 911 rival will be based on an all new platform that it will share with the SL with the new GT set to be positioned as an even sportier version of the car it will replace. However, we could also see a GT55 with a detuned 4-liter V8 motor from the Mercedes SL55 with 470 horsepower. What's certain is that the AMG GT63 will adopt 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 with potentially more than 600 horsepower to put clear distance between it and the 63 version of the new SL. As has already been confirmed for Mercedes' new drop top, an e-performance plug-in hybrid V8 version could also feature in the new GT lineup with over 800 horsepower. Our spy photographers have caught the newcomer testing in two variants, the V8 engine GT63 and what could be a new entry-level version, badged either GT53 or GT55, depending on the motor it uses. A GT53 with a hybridized and line 6 from the Mercedes AMG GT53 four-door is on the cards. In the four-door Super Saloon, the setup provides 430 horsepower, supplemented by an electric motor producing 22 horsepower. The new AMG GT is set to provide an even racier driving experience than before and the redesigned body hints at this with a more aggressive profile and a heavily raked rear screen. The car's pumped-up haunches are also evident from these camouflaged pre-production cars, and the AMG GT will retain its trademark clong bonnet and Pan American grille. Thanks to the new aluminium intensive MSA platform that has been engineered to accept Mercedes all-wheel drive system, the next GT is likely to break from the tradition set by the outgoing model and send its power to all four wheels. As another all-wheel drive EMG models, the setup will offer a more driver-focused bias, sending more power to the rear axle, and with the system's parameters changing, depending on the driving mode, boosting agility and stability. Expect rear wheel steering and active ride control adaptive suspension too.
it's expected that the next GT interior will receive a complete overhaul as well, potentially inheriting elements of the SL cabbing, including an 11.9-inch touchscreen. G Chief Technical Officer Herman has already confirmed that the next GT won't be offered in Roadster form, with the new SL covering that market. It's not known if the GT will inherit the SL2 Plus 2 layout or if it'll remain a strict two-seater. It's not known if the GT will inherit the SL2 Plus 2 layout or if it'll remain a strict two-seater.